Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Woki, and I'm back for another Fake Grand Order video. How's it going, everyone, on the NA side of the game? Hope you're keeping busy with whatever you maybe end up doing. Maybe you're taking a break. Maybe you're finally doing crazy grinding in the challenge. What? No, what the hell? No, it actually ended today, so... Preparing for the next Guda Guda event, but before that can happen, I wanted to talk about something that happened on the JP side of the game, where they announced the new Guda Guda event, and with it, uh, announced that they're also skipping another event. So that's gonna be today's video. I hope you like it. If you do, you can leave a like. It helps out the channel a whole bunch. You guys have been very supportive, and I thank you guys very much. You can leave a comment down below. Tell me about any talking. I don't know. Tell me about whatever the hell you want to talk about, honestly. And subscribe to me if you want some more videos featuring me. So let's go. So this is the next Guda Guda event. Guda Guda Shin Yamatai Koku. The, the names just get more complicated for me to say. I like the, I think it's actually the six Guda Guda or so, maybe. I lost track after Final Hanoshi to be 100% real with you. But anyway, it should be coming next on JP. And obviously on JP, that means that they have 100% skipped the previous Guda Guda event, which wouldn't be that big of an issue, except for it had a welfare servant. Just to double check on here to make sure Yep, this is all the future events coming, uh, and it's been 100% skipped, just to confirm. Nope, never happened. So, uh, just to be 100% sure, check in January, yep. And September in 2021 should be when the previous one happened. Now that's summer. God, though, event things have been completely out of whack. When did, there we go, it happened in November, that's crazy. Good to good to close call. Yep, which featured Ranmaru. I believe that was the welfare servant for this one. Uh, excuse me if you hear a, a woman yelling in the background, my mom's watching football or something, I think. Mysterious Ranmaru X. This was the welfare servant that ended up being in there. It was an Avenger welfare. I think it's the only Avenger welfare we've ever gotten. It is exclusive to this event. And if you did not play this event, specifically in September... <laughs> In November 17th through December 1st in 2021, no chance of her ever returning at any given point. Now, thankfully, the one thing that is kind of nice is that Guda Guda can literally be rerun during at any point. Because it's not really seasonal. It's just an event that happens. So, in theory, they could just rerun this anytime they wanted. The problem is, is that they have plenty of events that they could technically rerun whenever they wanted. They just don't do it. Um, if you're curious to see what Mar Maru actually ends up doing, she ends up being a one quick, two arts, two buster. Her first skill is increasing one ally's crit absorption for one turn, increasing their crit damage for one turn, removes their debuffs. Her second skill is when Maru eyes aren't that lovely, those eyes, which is a 40% chance to charm all enemies, reduce their defense for three turns, gain crit 10 crit stars. Run Maru Straw, which increases her own uh, arts performance for three turns, charges her NP gauge, gains 10 crit stars, 30%. 20%. A whole bunch of passive skills. Uh, Avenger, Oblivion Correction, R Ranomanium EX, Existence Outside of the Domain, Magist Magic Resistance C, Affection of the Demon King EX, a third skill that is Anti-Caster, and a Noble Phantasm that deals damage that ignores defense buffs to all enemies, increase uh, crit star generation. That's all well and good. But really, the thing that sucks the most about this is the continuation of them skipping events that have welfares that you can only get once and there's no chance of them ever returning. Uh, this one's a big bummer because this is basically a free Avenger. And a lot of the times, you just kind of need someone as someone who, maybe, like, obviously in my account, do I really need an AoE Arts Avenger? And the answer is no, I don't really need it. Um, in terms of a gameplay, do I want them as a person? Yeah, I kind of do. <laughs> That's the I, in terms of a character, I would love to have him. It's a free welfare. You get to have this entire event based around him. You get to know him. You get to like them, and then they're added to your team. And then you, as the person, can decide to choose and play them. It's really annoying that they've continued to seem to not understand that the vast majority of people play their game because of the characters. And the story, of course, is also very- actually, I would say probably story is number one, but I would say stories is probably a close second. And in terms of actual gameplay, uh, it's a hit or miss with a lot of people. I personally enjoy it, but there's plenty of people that absolutely hate it, hate the 
every single aspect of it, don't think it's enjoyable, thinks it's actively bad, it's old, it's especially for the age of the Fogo is it is extremely busted system of what you're doing. And I can perfectly understand that point of view, but I still think that Fogo is worth playing alone for the story and for the characters itself. So the fact that they continuously keep doing this where they keep setting up characters that are basically never going to be returned. Like, if you start new to Fogo and you're playing on the JP side of the game, you end up seeing Ranmaru because Ranmaru still exists. She's going to be in other Guda Guda events. The next Guda Guda event is going to come out and she's going to be in it. And it's good chance that someone could end up liking her. And then it's like, well, how do I get them? You can't. You simply can't. <laughs> you just don't get them at all. And it's not as bad as the Summer Servants. The Summer Servants, I think, with the Valkyries is much worse than this. Um, which is funny because someone says, like, someone actually said in the comments, I don't see what the big deal is. I think it's actually kind of cool that everyone has basically a different Valkyrie and that, you know, all their gameplay is the same. So it doesn't really make sense to me why people should care about a unit that is, in essence, the same thing. And my thing has always been, again, the characters. These three may play the exact same. But they're completely different characters from each other, which is funny because they're supposed to be, I think, identical twins or whatever. But they not only do they have like their own like personality and stuff like that, they have their own craft essences and stuff. Stuff that you just can't get. And it's really weird for free units to be limited in such a capacity. It's actively bizarre. I can't imagine any game in which a free character being super limited and not returning for years is acceptable and i say that especially because i can't think of one other game that does that and the answer is dokkan because they never returned the uh by guys goku that was related to the one piece event which is another dumb thing but it's really stupid that that unit never came back so that means a vast majority of people just can never get this unit and in dokkan where gameplay matters nobody cares about that goku because you know whatever by guys goku i'll just wait for them to release a new better by guys goku that's not happening in fogo there is no like better valkyrie the better valkyrie is the lancer valkyrie which is not this unit it is also not tied into the other Valkyries that are in the game as well, because each one of these has a spirit on dress that changes into a different Valkyrie. So in essence, it's more characters and stuff like that. You can't just do that with a game like Fago where the characters are just so important. And I feel like I'm going to always be harping on this because it's something that kind of needs to be addressed eventually in the game. And I do think they will eventually address it in some way. I just think it's dumb that they didn't address it right away. They should have been like a day one, like, and I know this seems bad, but don't worry, we're going to have a way for you to return it, and we're all good. Everything's Gucci, nobody cares, right? It's like, oh, okay, it does suck that you're rerunning it less, but at least there's some way for me to get these units somewhere down the line. The fact that they haven't done any of that is just, I don't know, I, I still find it very annoying that they do this, and especially when it, it makes it hard for me to get like excited for certain events when I know, like... Thankfully, I'm in NA, and I'm two years behind, and I'm guaranteed as long as I'm alive, I'll be able to get them by this year. I don't know. I still think it's very annoying. I think it's something that need to work on improving in the game. Obviously, there's plenty of things that also need to be improved in the game, such as the fact that the pity probably should also be improved just a little bit at some point. Um, maybe make it a little bit less that <laughs> after I did the whole full math and said like, well, if I don't pull use any tickets for two years, I can actually pity one unit. Probably not the best sign that your game has an amazing pity. Even if it is a pity, it is more than some. Actually, I think it's just one. I think Dokkan is literally the only game that does not have a pity system. It has a metal system. Not the same thing as a pity system, though. Because you have to wait for the unit to come back and stuff like that. But I digress. Uh, I'm going to be interested to see what the new Guda Guda event has in store. Um, uh, when it comes out, I'll probably end up talking about it, just because I like to keep up to date with what releases in JP. I don't think there's much info, other than it's coming sometime in mid-September, and I think there's probably going to be a live stream attached to it. Yeah, there's a live stream. Oh, coming, funny enough, September 14th, so like in two- Ah, oh, damn it, is that li literally the same day that starts the fucking Guda Guda event? Oh, god damn it. That, that's a that's actually kind of annoying for me <laughs> personally at the NA side. Actually, it should be JST, so it should be a different time. That's kind of annoying. They should have timed this better. They should have really thought of me when they were making their schedules and stuff like that. But anyway, I'm digressing. Tell me what you end up feeling about this, because I think that this ends up being a case of like 
it really is going to depend person to person. There's obviously going to be people who just play for go for it. There, I know there. I know for a fact there are people that skip every single single story thing and then just don't read any of it and then just kind of play the game. I can't imagine playing that way, um, especially for a first time of thing. I think it's actively weird, and that's coming from someone that even likes playing the game as it is normally. I still think that's extremely odd behavior because the best thing about the game is the the story followed up by the characters but at the same time the power of the characters is enough so that i guess they pull on banners going i like this character therefore i'm pulling on them i have no idea what's happening in the story at all i don't care what i do care is that i was able to get this character so tell me what you think that's what i feel and until next time everyone you guys have a good day i'll see you guys in the next video wherever it may be I'll probably end up going back to playing some more Disney Dreamlight. That's actually what I've been doing <laughs> in my time off. I should really catch up with the story. That's what I should be doing, but I, I got distracted by Disney's Dreamlight. Anyway, goodbye everyone. Until next time, peace out. Have a good day. Bye-bye.